When was the last time you wished you had deeper insights into your Laval application's performance and behavior? Let's talk about Laval Telescope, a powerful debugging system for your local Laval applications. Telescope provides an elegant interface to monitor and debug your apps. But what does this mean? Imagine having the ability to see requests, exception, logs, database queries, and more all in one place. This is exactly what Telescope offers, making it an invaluable tool for developers. So how does it work? Once you have Telescope installed and go to the route slash telescope inside your application, you will then get here welcome by the dashboard of Telescope and you can already see there is a lot we can go through, but so far we don't have anything here, no requests yet. So this means we have to play a little bit with our application to get some data in here. And this is my Cinetop application showing some of the biggest movies ever. So let's make some requests by checking some of those uh, movies here. Dark Knight, one of my favorite ones. Lord of the Rings, also really good. And maybe let's also search for something. Let's search for maybe just God, yeah. We can get a bunch of here. Okay, I think that's good for now. And back on Telescope, you will also see this link here when new entries were added. And yeah, now we can see the requests being made, showing our movies here, the detail page, and also our search term here. We can see the status of the request, duration, and what and when it happened. And yeah, that's already pretty good. But of course, there's much more to discover. So I think what we also have here, we should have something in the cache. Yeah, this is pretty cool. We also see um, the first time it missed and it was set and then we hit it again. And yeah, that's pretty good. So maybe let's try to search for God again. I think now this should come from the cache. Let's read it here. Yes, and now we have some movies God was first missed. Then we set it and now we hit it and we got the result back from the cache. Pretty cool. I think we also have some events going on here. Yes, a movie search event was also happening two times which is pretty cool. All right, maybe just one more thing. We also have here this commands page. And inside my application, you have this PHP artisan command to fetch new movies. Okay, looks like this one was working. Maybe we're also going to start the queue, PHP artisan queue work. All right. And you can see um, my command added, some, added a job to the queue and this was now being run. So let's go back here. We do see here that this command was run one second ago. We should also see something inside the jobs. And yeah, we also see that it was already processed 30 seconds ago. So yeah, this is also pretty cool. And yeah, everything that you can think of, caching dumps, events, exceptions, of course. Maybe let's also take a look at an exception. Maybe just remove this letter here. And you can see we have two exceptions here also being shown. And yeah, there is so much more to discover. Telescope acts as a central hub for monitoring various aspects of your application. It collects all the necessary data to help you debug your application locally, which is crucial to remember. It's important to note that Telescope is not intended for production use. It can slow down your apps. If you want to monitor your production apps, be sure to check out Laravel Nightwatch, which is the best tool for this purpose. You can also customize Telescope to fit your needs by filtering the data that should be collected, defining what should be monitored, and controlling who has access to the dashboard, among other options. So if you encounter issues with your app or just want to keep an eye on your app's performance, Telescope is your go-to companion. For more information, please check out the official documentation and happy debugging.